Hey guys, happy Sunday. Just doing a video on the 120. Uh, these two are interesting. I'm not sure if that's courtship. Uh, not sure what those two are doing. But I've got some algae issues going on in here again, and, and it really just has to do with uh, doing the work. I, I found that as long as I do weekly water changes, um, that the algae issues kind of just go away. I have a lot of people, well, I've had tanks in the past where if you have very, very few fish and you have it heavily stocked with plants, you really do not need to do water changes. You just add water. And and I've and that's true. I've actually had tanks set up like that. This tank is heavily stocked. Uh so that's not really an option with this tank. There's probably uh eighty or ninety fish in here. There's lots of little fish. Uh, like the rasboras, a lot of tetras. There's some Beckford pencil fish right there chasing each other. Some neons. Lots of little fish in here. So, and then there's some big fish. But the one thing I really want to talk about with this 120 in the video, just for you guys that are new or you're just trying to figure things out, you have to do weekly water changes. Um, I mean, you can set a tank up or you don't have to do maintenance. But you really need to know what you're doing. And um, so I don't really want to set that expectation. But the the point I really want to make is that fish, um, since they live in water, there are certain things that they cannot get out of their system um, through urine. I don't know how to say it without being too gross. But... Um, but there's a lot of things that, as humans, we get rid of through urine. They can't do that because they're water-based. So, uh, especially if you think about, like, a saltwater fish, uh, they need fresh water in their body. Um, so they're not going to get rid of any of that. And, and salt water will dehydrate them. So, uh, but anyway, the point, the point I'm trying to make Animals that have gills, uh, fresh saltwater fish, they get rid of ammonia through their respiratory system. They breathe it out. So they pass water over their gills to get oxygen, but they also, you think about how we exhale uh, carbon, di or carbon dioxide, I think that's right. What they do is they actually exhale some ammonia as well. So they breathe it out. So the, the problem that you'll see, and look, you can see these guys are not breathing as hard as they were yesterday. But if you go watch the video from yesterday, and they're breathing a little hard. I need to do a water change in here. But the, the thing that I found is that if your fish are having problems breathing, you don't need oxygen. They need clean water. Just an FYI. Because what's happening is they're having to pant, almost like a dog would pant when they're hot. They're almost having to pant to try to uh, get rid of ammonia build up. So that's just something to think about. And that's usually what's going to kill your fish. And if you see them breathing hard, you know, a lot of people get an, an, uh, an air pump and an air stone and crank it up. Uh, and, and they don't ever think about a water change. So if you do water changes... Uh, I've actually invested in, this is an Aquion hose, and then this actually screws into the, uh, this top screws into the bottom of the sink, and then you have a nozzle here, and basically uh, the way it works is you just flip it one way to suck, suck water out, and then if I, if I turn this horizontal, like so, it's pumping water in to the tank, and uh, the trick is, is you just have a bottle of like Prime, so this is prime. And then you just add uh, enough prime 
for the entire volume of your tank. So like if I'm only adding like a gallon to the 120, I'm going to put enough prime in here for 120 gallons. So, and then everybody's safe. So, but that's the trick with that. That's all I want to say about the 120, but uh, a rant about water changes. But it's just something to be aware of. Uh, you don't really think about it, but um, it's, it's really a key point. Boy, the thread fins love the big tank. They are so happy. Check them out. They are really doing well in there. I'm surprised how they love to school with the, some of the other fish. But anyway, hey, that's it. That's the big rant on the 120, and there's the big, there's a little puffer fish. Doing really well. Uh, but hey, you guys, uh, happy Sunday. You guys be good. And uh, talk to you guys later. See ya.